kind of friends. In today's lesson, we will be considering the design of staircase using Stated version 2021. This one, the Stated came with Tecla Structural Designer 2021, right? So I will double click on it to launch it. Then I will select the first provisions page. Alright, so at this interface, you just uh, go ahead, click on the new to create a new document. Alright, so you have all of these documents. Okay, so these are the folders you are going to be using for any of the design you want to do, right? So you can see uh, all of the designs here, you can see analysis, you can see bash design, gives columns and the rest of the structural elements, analysis and design. So we will click on this concrete uh, provisions, okay? To expand that in the concrete provisions, so you can see a lot of uh, uh, ROC design members. If you come down, you see in these provisions, ROC steer design, okay? To Eurocode 1992. And ROC stairs designs to DS8110. Okay, so we will be considering this one. Click on it. All right, so after this, after which you can use any of these, uh, the ROC stair design, you can also use the simply supported stair design depending on the type of design you want to and how your stairs is being supported. All right, so if you check right there, you see. Uh, Institute stair design example. If you expand this one, you will be having um, examples right away. These are the examples of uh, the existing calculated staircase. All right, so you can also calculate using these examples. Maybe you decide to change one or two figures or values here, and then you proceed in your design successfully. All right, so for instance, if I should double, double click on this. Uh, example right away if you take me to these provisions we are it will be expecting me to impute some of the values that i need to change but it is still booting right away you give it some time to boot all right so it is prompting right away so in these provisions you can see this tier geometry okay we will need to feed in this tier geometry so we see the numbers of riser in the right okay we are having 10 riser so depending on the number of riser you are having in the going all right so if for instance you are having 10, 11 riser you just have to edit that okay and going of each steps is 50 so depending whether you are designing for commercial purpose or for residential purpose if actually you are designing for commercial purpose the going is between 250 to 300 all right so you can allow this 250 all right and then rise of each steps is 175 you can decide to use 150 all right so you make all these changes successfully with depth or stair where the width is distance between this uh this flats uh underneath of the staircase and then where this uh, going stops and connect with the riser all right so that is the waist so we can leave that the minimum waist is used to be so one one hundred and seventy five mm all right so um this uh, specified landing details and you if you click on the landing details in these provisions you will be taken to uh, another uh, page where you can be able to set your landing details all right upper landing geometry and the lower landing geometry okay so you are going to change both of these values right the upper landing geometry if it is 1.2 you just have to um change it to that 1.2 and then the, the landing depth um you can leave it as the depth of the waist which is 175 millimeter all right so the lower landing geometry is 1500 so you can't leave it as well and then you click on uh so and also supports conditions uh, you see it's continuous outer okay and this one is a uh, um this one is um first interior supports all right 
so uh, it depends on your support like, like for this is always first interior support okay it's not continuous support all right first interior support or interior support all right but for this can be continuous support all right so after which click on okay so once you click on okay so you can see the distance okay has changed to uh, 5200 uh, mm all right so you can zoom this in and, and as well zoom it out you can see this is the height of this tier 1.65 uh, okay so after having that uh, change successfully you can click on the next so in this next provisions you can now choose your material detail such as the characteristic strength of concrete all right so you can use uh, depending on uh, your spec okay on the characteristic strength of uh, reinforcement you can use that okay the cover to reinforcement um you can choose 25 as the cover to reinforcement the density of concrete is this so the partial safety factors are 1.6 and 1.4 all right the loading details okay for the stairs is used to be uh, four kilometers per meter squares all right the characteristics uh, landing for, for finishings all right is uh, for 0 0.5 okay this uh, uh, some of these are constant click on next so um if you click on next you will also get to my span the bending moment okay you see reinforcement uh, diameter uh, you are using y12 okay 12 mm diameter reinforcement and then reinforcement spacing you can just choose it if it is okay by the program it will pass the design if it's not okay it will also fail and you will observe that right away i'm going to put it in okay so um if you check earlier required is 578.4 millimeter square per meter area provided is this you can see uh the statute is passed based on this so you can change this to 175 the statute is also passed okay so this is what you will use can change it to 200 200 as fine you can see so it means uh it's going to be a minimum of uh maximum of 125 all right so this has passed the design okay for deflections of beam that means pound allow pound slash effective depth ratios is uh, this provisions all right so you can check uh, the upper support reinforcement bending okay the upper support this one is the mid support the mid support this is the upper support so if you check the uh if you check the statute here is passed so you can also increase it to 170 uh, 175 as fine okay so you need to take it back to 150 so 150 has passed all right, all right. so this is the lower support uh, bending moment can see the uh, statute also failed right away so um this is the um the lower support so you just have to change the reinforcement um to white work so you can see it has passed the design with this spacing of 300 okay so you must uh, sure that you check all of this that all passes the um the design like this has failed now okay you can see um this one uh the actual uh, uh span slash effective depth ratio failed so you increase this and this failed at the uh, it failed at the uh, upper support reinforcement so you have to change this to 16 to 16 okay sorry is is effective with this one so uh, let's change this one to 16 all right so you can see this as as passed now this this is the mid span reinforcement bending reinforcement at the center of the stair okay that the bottom reinforcement at the centers of the stairs so supposed to be y16 uh, diameter so this has actually passed so if you check all of the st design statute it has passed okay so since uh, you've gotten that successfully click on next so it is now calculating and you can see the summary of the calculations here you can see passed 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 meaning everything has passed okay but uh, if you notice any failure you have to come to this uh, back click on the back provision so that you can make changes to the reinforcement as well as the spacing in order to be able to make the design to fast okay so click on finish all right so once you click on finish your calculation is done and the calculation sheet is provided for you just like this so you just have to check for the statute of your design all right you can see all the statute has passed all right so you just have to follow that same procedure 
right to be able to design your state successfully so this is the uh, calculation sheet for your steer design which is done successfully and this is the right way to do it okay so if you want to print it you, want, you just need to uh, navigate to this provision you can see quick print right away and then but before then I want to be showing you how you can change this your title and as well the image Tekna 8 alright for you to do that come to this option provisions click right there in the dialog you can navigate to the document okay so in the document uh, provisions you can see the Tekna text what you have here okay so if you want to change this logo click on browse it will take you to a directory so if you click in this drop down you can be able to locate this directory copy your logo and locate this directory if i see program file x86 tecla structural pets data and bitmaps okay so you paste it in that provisions in your drive c then you start the tecla structure uh, sorry start the tecla date and then navigate to these provisions and then be able to make it prompting okay so once you select that you can just click on open so it will appear in these provisions So this provision is the third template you are use, currently using for these calculations and this settings is um, a setting that you're supposed to do first before carrying out the calculations all right so uh, if you want to change this uh, title okay the company name all right you can come also expand this document and then come to the header okay so you can be able to fill in uh, the company name you can be able to fill in your address all right as well as the date format all right if you click in this provision you can fill in the date format after which click on ok after you ok it it proceeds in the changes of values in your in, in respect to what you want to design and then you get to this stage okay so that everything will appear here as you set before you carry out the analysis and as well as design successfully so it is only when you completed design like this that is when you can go into drawings because you are going to produce what you have here into uh, drawings okay that will be taken to the site for implementation all right so from what you have here you can be able to produce your drawings okay all right so we will proceed to print this for us to print this now you will go to these provisions where you have quick print click right there and then it will uh, actually uh, navigate you to the provisions where you can be able to print all right you have to minimize this so you can see that all right it will get you to the provisions here you want to actually print okay so just click on save there right it's asking overriding because i have this name existing click on override so it will actually uh, process and print that in pdf format so you can see this is in pdf format all right so it's a backward calculation sheet and from this calculation sheet we will be able to detail this there case accordingly based on the result you have here all right so close this all right as this uh, bring the lesson to a stops all right so bye for now